what happened to our our dilo? Oh, it's on. Twenty. <laughs> God, twenty four hundred damage. Wow, that's just insane. Okay, <laughs> dude, you are a monster. Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Ascended. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are going to start this episode off uh, by setting out uh, to go look for some crystal and potentially uh, a, a higher level uh, critter, uh, Barry Berkman. I spent a little bit of time leveling him. I got his health up to 24, uh, 69, and um, we'll keep working on, on getting his health up too. But, you know, he was pretty low level when we tamed him, and so... Uh, we're going to continue looking for, you know, stronger dinos, even though the melee damage on these guys is crazy here in single player. Uh, also, you may notice that my big, beautiful tree is missing in the middle of the yard, and that's because I forgot to turn Mazarita uh, off of harvest, and uh, so she decided to eat my tree. <laughs> so at some point, you know, uh, maybe we'll make some um, re-fertilizer and see if we can regrow that tree. Uh, I, actually, I don't know if we can, though, because it might be too close to the house. But, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter because this isn't, our, isn't going to be our permanent base anyway. Okay, so first thing we're going to do here is... Oh, actually, first thing I actually wanted to tell you guys is that it seems to me, at least so far, that turning off this NVIDIA Reflex low latency option has fixed the problem with uh, freezes. Now, time will tell, but... You know, I was getting freezes like every five to ten minutes. It was so frustrating. Uh, and then I I enabled Battle Eye, and that seemed to make it better for, you know, 20 or 30 minutes. And then I froze up again. Of course, you guys saw that happen in the last episode. And then after I was done uh, recording the last episode, I, um, uh, I, I disabled... Actually, no, I think I disabled that during the episode. And then I had no more crashes. I played for like another hour hour and a half maybe even two hours um you know just gathering resources and things like that and uh it didn't crash so hopefully hopefully you know that's that'll fix the issue we'll see time will tell um i and may it maybe uh wildcard may have come out with an, another update today to our patch i don't know i've been been at work all day so not sure about that anyway uh, before we get started uh on our little journey here uh, looks like we, eh, our armor's not in that bad of shape. It, it's kind of cool, though, that it starts to show wear and tear, you know, when it starts to go bad. But, uh, yeah, I, I think we're okay for now. Well, what does it need to repair? Just, uh, you know what? We got tons of fiber and hide. We might as well repair the damn stuff, right? Let's just do it. Let's just do it. I think I have to take it off first, though, uh, in order to repair it. And, you know, we, we get even are high enough now in level to make flak armor, but it's more of a resource thing uh, for that. I don't have a lot of metal right at the moment. Um, okay, so that takes care of that. Uh, the other thing, too, that I remembered uh, is that saddles now take damage. So, so Barry Berkman's saddle was actually about down to, I don't know, 60%. Uh, so I repaired that, too. We're going to have to keep an eye on that because, you know, I'm not used to saddles taking damage in this game. And so uh, I don't know what happens when it, come, it you, know, you know, when it's fully damaged, like 100%. It probably kicks you off the mount, I'm guessing. I don't know. That's something we're definitely going to have to keep track of. Okay, so anyway, let's look at some Ingrams here. Um, so I want to... We got qu quite a bit of gunpowder now. We don't... But the thing is, is here again, we don't have a whole, whole lot of metal. Uh, we're going to want to make a water jar when we find crystals, so let's just go ahead and do that now. And um, I want to look at firearms in particular. We don't really need the sickle because we got the moz chops for that. Um, so I think we, we're going to need to learn the simple bullet. Um, let's learn the long neck and the simple rifle ammo. And a Scope attachment. Of course, we're going to need crystal for that as well. Uh, I'm not probably going to plant any crops at this base because, again, this isn't going to be our, our permanent base. At least not the, that's not the plan at this point. We could do the re-fertilizer now, too, but not, not a big deal. Uh, the shotgun might be nice. 
So let's learn that in shotgun shells. And what else do we have here that could, uh, you know, be an advantage to us right now? Can we can we do nets in the island? Uh, we could on Fjorder, and I know that was also a Genesis thing too. Let's type in net. No, we can't. Oh, that's going to suck. <laughs> Not having the ability to net creatures. Oh, no, man, that's terrible. Okay, well, you know what? We're playing the island, so we got to play by the island's rules. Uh, grappling hook. Definitely want that. Uh, we're going to want the fabricator, of course. I got, I got so many points, it's crazy. We're going to want electronics. Uh, we're going to want a power generator. Uh, an industrial grill. Uh, probably at some point the lamp post, but I'm, I'm I just want to get the real essential stuff. You know, let's get a canteen, pump action shotgun probably, and like I said, the the flak. Yeah, let's let's learn the flak. Uh, yeah, let's learn the flak armor. It's it's basically causing us to learn the kite and armor. In fact, you know what? We could probably make the kite and armor. I've got a motorboat. Really. Plenty of metal platform that you can pilot across the water with cars, gasoline, power, motor. Wow, I didn't know that was in Ark. Uh, oh, I wonder if that was added by the raft mod. Yeah, I'll bet you that was added by the raft mod. Okay. Uh, we'll probably get an assault rifle at some point, but not critical at this point. We definitely want a refrigerator. Uh, we'll need air conditioners, you know, for like, um, uh, you know, for uh, hatching eggs and stuff. But we don't need that right now. This could come in handy right now. Um, how many points do I have left? Oh, geez, I got so many points. It's crazy. Okay, let's get the grinder. Uh, and that's as, as as high as we can go. Okay, good. Um, we'll get saddles. We'll learn saddles based upon what we tame, right? So, um, yeah, I'm just going to hold off on learning any saddles and, until, you know, we figure out what's the next thing that we're going to tame there. Okay, cool. So, um, this just oh, this is cheap, man. Yeah, let's make a set of chitin armor. So let's see. This is um, yeah, we got lots of stuff for that. I think. Do we have to make that in the smithy? I think we probably do. Uh, let's see, armor chitin. Yes. Okay. So it's gonna require. Uh, we got lots of fiber and hide already here. We just need some chitin. Okay. So probably can make a, a set with just one stack of chitin. Cool. Okay. Good. So we'll have chitin armor that, that's going to be a little bit better than the hide armor that we're currently wearing. And let's see. That's animal parts. That's miscellaneous. This is... Uh, Raw resources. This is equipment. So let's put our hide armor in here. And I had I had so much extra meat I had no place to put it, so I just stuck it in here for now and just letting it kind of, you know, spoil as time goes on. Okay, cool. So we got that done. How much metal do I have? Do I have enough metal to make like a long neck? Probably, yeah. Actually, we probably do. So let's go to weapons and firearms. And we just need... Oh, we don't have enough metal to make that shit. Okay, what about this? We could make a shoddy, but it's going to take up, like, all the metal that we have. Okay, we probably better hold off on that for now. We'll just rely upon our crossbow for the time being. Um, you know, because I got normal arrows and I also have trank arrows, too. Okay, so let's put on our... Our chitin armor here. There we go. Look at us, man. All right, cool. That makes us a little bit stronger now than we were with the hide armor. Uh, what does this do for, like, heat, cold and heat? Oh, man, it doesn't give us much for heat resist, but it gives us a decent amount of cold resist. Huh, interesting. Okay. You wouldn't think chitin would be something that would insulate you much from the cold, but apparently it does. Okay, so I think we're ready to set out here. Oh, actually, yeah, see, I can't make a canteen until I make a fabricator, so that's out of the question. And I can't make a um, 
I can't make a, a glass jar until we get some crystal, which is our main goal for today. Uh, in addition to trying to tame something. We still have five bolas here, so we're good to go on those. And um, we got a hundred trank arrows. And uh, yeah, I'm just waiting for all of this meat in here to spoil, and then I'll take the moss chops out and get a bunch more narco bears. But we have a pretty decent quantity of of narcotic already made up here, and even a little bit of a stimulant, plus of what I have in my inventory. Okay, so let's head on out. Um, we're gonna take. Uh, we're going to take a uh, Masarita with us just because she's got a lot of carry weight and we need, you know, we want to bring back a bunch of, oh shit, no, hold on. No, 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 You guys stay here. Um, yeah, so we're going to take Masarita. Plus Masarita is good, a good fighter for us, uh, you know, f for where we currently are. Just give you weight. Uh, the thing is, though, as I've mentioned, she doesn't fight on her own. We have to be, uh, we have to control her directly to, in order to get her to fight. Otherwise, she just chickens out and runs away. Because she's smarter than we are. So you guys just chillax here. No, 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 no. Damn it, Jim. Get over here and stay put. I keep thinking to myself, I, I should just put Masarita in a crowd pod and carry her with me, but it's like, oh, wait, no, we don't have crowd pods. <laughs> uh, coming off a of fjord or, you know, and using crowd pods for everything, it's like, okay. Um, we will, yeah, let's, let's ride Barry so we can level him, but if we get into um, a significant scuffle, we'll probably need to get on Masarita uh, just so that she doesn't run away. Okay, and I've been basically pumping health on Barry, uh, just because his melee damage is already pretty high. I mean, we'll probably put more points of that later, but right now we just got to get his health up so he doesn't die. Um, oh, okay, hold on a sec. I actually want you guys to follow me. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna go um, that direction, kind of to a little bit to the right of the red obby. If memory serves me correctly, and I might be completely wrong about this too, but I think there's a um, kind of more like a ridge, not so much a mountain over there, and I think it may have crystal on top of it. So that's the that's where we're gonna check out, and we'll see if that uh, if that pans out for us. Okay, let's kill this guy just for the XP. It's a level four trike anyway. Okay. Grab a little bit of fish for Barry to eat along the way, because that's what he likes to have. For our critters to catch up to us. They're a little bit on the slow side, but that's all right. Oh, um, shit. You know what I forgot to do? Damn it, Jim. I forgot to grab some food for myself. Um, all right. Let me... I'm trying to decide if it would be faster just to make a quick campfire and cook some... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm just going to make a quick campfire and cook some meat right here. Rather than go all the way back to the base. So give me a second to do that, and I'll be ready to go here in just a bit. All right, guys, uh, we are ready to move out. Looks like we got the gang with us. Yeah, yeah, we're just going to pretty much head in this direction. Um, but go maybe a little bit more to the west. And apparently it's hot. My goodness, okay. That could uh, be a problem for us in terms of making us thirsty. Come on, guys. You guys are all really slow. Lots of Paraceratheriums up here. Where's a... 
Monsterita, here she comes. <laughs> okay. Man, it's just it it's it's familiar but it's different, you know, um up here. This used to be kind of more if I as I recall anyways, it used to be kind of more of a of a meadow. Um Okay, yeah, here's the lagoon. I recognize this place. We good? Uh, what do we have down in the water there? We definitely need to get some crystals so that we can get a... I think that's a no. That's a turtle off to the left. I don't know what that is. Oh, I think it's a baby trike. Kind of looks like a baby trike. All right, let's kill this Diplodocus. Diplodocus. We got a theory up here. Level 16. It's fortunate it was low level. Uh, it knocked out our Peggy, though. <laughs> that Pego gets knocked out so easily. Funny. Uh, okay, so we've got two levels. Let's. We'll get your health up to 32. Um, I want to give you a little more stamina too, so maybe we'll get the stamina up to like 600 at least, and then I'll probably start throwing some more points into melee. Okay, so let's see, how's your weight doing? Yeah, let's um, let's drop most of this. Uh, in fact, we'll drop all of the meat. We'll keep the prime just in case uh, we run into a a raptor or something like that. Of course, we don't need any of these berries either. Or that stuff. Okay, cool. Uh, and, you know, the reason we have, of course, like I said, Masarita, Masarita with us is so she can haul stuff. Alright, so we got a calico guy here. Um, I don't know what level he's in. he is. Guess we'll bite him and find out. Oh, is is Pego still knocked out? <laughs> we should probably wait for him, huh? Um, he was uh, laying down over here somewhere, wasn't he? Yeah, there he is. Okay, he's awake. Okay, so yeah, we need to go further west from this um, lagoon area here. Oh shit! There's a Carno. Uh, where's he going? Uh, or, or what's he going after, I should say. I don't think we can bowl a Carno. So if we can't bowl a Baryonyx, we probably can't bowl a Carno. Um, yeah, let's just leave, leave him be. He's not coming after us, is he? Get out of here, compies. Um, where is our Dilo at? Can you get out of there? Okay. Oh, that was weird. Okay. Look at the baby Fiomia. How cute. Okay, so yeah, let's just keep going west. Um, up to the ridge where I think there's some crystal. If there isn't, then I'm going to have to really rack my brain to remember where crystal is around here. So, like I said, this is looking sort of kind of familiar.
We want to be um, like all the way at the top of the ridge where I think the crystal is. And here again, I could be completely mistaken about this too. It's been a long time since I've played on, played on the island. What in the hell was that? That sounds like some kind of carnivore. Um, let's give you some more stamina. I can't tell what that is. Oh, it's a Rex. Trying to eat something, I don't think he can get to it. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to get on Masarita. And then we're going to tell everybody to attack this Rex. Oh, he's only in level eight. Easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Might as well take this stego out too, since he's already just about out. Okay, um, we'll leave a little bit of meat on you, and we'll leave all the. God, look at all that prime. All the prime. We don't want wood or thatch or anything or berries at this point because we're gonna need to. Uh, save all of your weight for hopefully crystal and maybe some metal we can find some. Um, so let's give you some more melee damage. Oh, I got a level? I do. Look at that. Okay, let's see. What are we doing? We're. I'm going to get my fortitude up to 30, and then I'll probably start pumping health again. Because uh, fortitude is very important. I like to ultimately get it to a, at least 40, but... I don't think we necessarily need to do that immediately, just eventually. And uh, 50 is even a little bit better uh, when the time comes. And this brings back memories. Being in this, uh, back on the island in, in these areas that we used to play in. That's a, that's a galley. Okay, I was going to say, what the hell is that? This isn't exactly, though, where I thought... Oh, you know why? Because we're too close to the coast, right? Okay. So we need to go more to the west. I'd like to find a decent level raptor. Or even a higher level berry would be good too, because the nice thing about the berry is we can use it in the water. Everybody coming? Okay. Okay, let's go on top of this ridge over here. Look at the little baby galley. How cute. Oh, hey, look at this. We got a explorer note. Cool. Sure, everybody's coming. Yeah, let's check this out. Onica nycteris becuncola is one of the few omnivores I've seen on the island. They seem to live primarily off the mushrooms and moss within the caves, but they attack almost any non insect on site. They avoid Titanoboa whenever possible, which leads me to believe the snake to be a natural predator of Onica nycteris. While flying in the dark caves would be difficult for any creature, Onychonycteris' ability to use echolocation has allowed it to adapt perfectly. It can be found idly flying around the caves as often as it can be found hanging from bits of the cave ceilings. Not large enough to be used as mounts and not strong enough to carry much, Onychonycteris still functions well as a guard animal. Whether protecting a vacant home or members of a tribe, their relatively vicious nature has its uses. Cool. Okay. That was another Helena note there. And we also now have the buff, which will help us um, level Barry a little bit faster. 
Oh, what the hell is that? Is that a an alpha? That's, I don't know. Is that, what is that? That looks weird. That doesn't look like an alpha. It looks like something else. Because alphas usually have like a, you know, kind of like an almost smoke type of look to them, if you will. I don't see any crystal up here. I may have been mistaken about that. All right, where did that thing go that we saw? Oh, he's right there. Oh, that's a, that's a drop. What? Why is it doing the or? Oh, right, because this is like um, what do they call it? A double drop? Very nice. Look at that. Um, we'll take the map. We don't really need any of this stuff though. Uh, but we got a a turtle salad, a uh, salad, <laughs> saddle, and a map. So that was kind of cool. All right. I gotcha. All right. So yeah, this um, I think this is kind of the ridge I was thinking of that had the crystal on, but I'm not seeing it. So I must have been mistaken about that, or. You know, they changed the place where the resources go, but probably I'm just mistaken. Um, but I'll tell you what, let's just keep going to the west anyways. Um, Redwoods are just right over that direction. Not quite sure we're ready to go there yet. You guys all coming? There's another explorer note placed down there. And there's a carnotaur and some raptors. But here again, I have no idea how to tell what level they are. Get out of here, bugs. All right, Baryonyx has a level. Let's get your stamina up. This. Oh, you got four levels. Oh, my goodness. All right. Um, how about we get your health up to 4,000, and then we'll probably start putting some melee damage in. There's two car <coughs> Carnotaurs, <coughs> a Therizinosaur, which is probably, a might be a little bit tough for us to tame at this point, just because their torpor drops so quickly. Um, all right, well, let's kill the Carnotaur. Level 20. All right, um, five levels, my word, okay. Yeah, let's start pumping your melee damage already up to 1100, that's crazy. You know, the thing is, is we've... So far, we've just tamed low-level critters, so I'm just wondering what's going to happen when we get a high-level critter. I guess the mo the, the moss chops was fairly high-level. I don't think we can bowl a uh, his He's very low-level anyway. Love the color on that pteranodon. Okay, so we should have an explorer note around here somewhere. I think it's right here. Nerva. It's a Roman guy. Oh, so you don't have a, sp a spoken a spoken thing. Um, isn't there like an English, yeah, subtitles, okay. Uh, the incident with the convoy was no fluke, the rider has returned, and this time we had plenty of warning. Reports of some beast queen, that's talking about, um, the, the Asian gal, uh, I can't remember what her name is off the top of my head. Uh, joining forces with the sharks, that, that was a tribe, reached my ears before the siege. Her ranks have swelled since the convoy, but there is no doubt it is her. 
Not only did she help break the siege, but for the first time in its existence, the new legion is in full retreat. This cannot continue. I will not allow it. I will conquer the sharks as I will conquer the entire Ark. But first I must destroy this so-called queen. Gaius Marcellus Nerva. Okay. Yeah, so he... he uh, Mei Lin, I think that's what her name is. So he's talking about Mei Lin. Mei Lin was the first uh, person that we know of anyways that kind of learned how to tame the animals on the Ark. For those of you who don't know the lore. Okay, cool. So... Anyway, um... Yeah, I... Jeez, man, I do not know where we get crystal around here. I just don't remember. I suppose we could try to go into the Redwoods, but that could be a dangerous proposition for us. Um, Is there anything kind of over here? Crystal's one of those things that's kind of... You need it pretty early on, you know, to make the spyglass and the water jar and all that. But it's um, it's not easy to get in the early game, depending upon where you're located. I know where we could get some that's more out to the east, but that's a long ways away from where we currently are. And we're going to actually need to get down to the water here pretty soon, because I'm getting thirsty. Alright, are my guys coming? You guys are slow, man. You're all stuck on things. I don't know what happened to those those raptors that we had seen. Look, they're such a nuisance, but they do give us chitin. Should really be using the moz chops for the chitin. There's a volcano. Another, another Dilo here. Dead Dilo. That's quite the cliff there. Alright, let's go back down around this way. Where is our... Where's our Pego? Okay, well, um, I need, I'm going to need to get something to drink here really quick, so we'll have to, there's a, uh, whatever those things that start with a T that are really nasty are called, Trudon. See, those, go oh, there's a raptor over there. Those guys could, um, potentially knock us out. Barry doesn't have really high torpor, so... I need to kind of be careful. Um, I'd be curious to see what level this raptor is. Particularly since it appears to be by itself. Um, I can bulla straight from um, the back of the berry too, which is nice. All right. Well, you know what? Let's um, let's get. There's a Rex. We're kind of getting into the swamp, which isn't ideal. But I need to get to some water. Oh, look at that. Of the many creatures I've yet encountered on the island, the Iguanodon vicissitudinus has the distinctly versatile capability of switching its primary method of locomotion according to its momentary needs. Okay, we gotta fight. Primarily a rather lethargic bipedal herbivore native to the island's many grasslands and forests. In situations where increased speed or maneuverability is called for, going on. it will quickly shift its posture into quadrupedal stance and behave like a very different creature. While bipedal, it can employ rapid stabbing attacks with its distinctive thumb spikes. In quadrupedal stance, conversely, it seems to have an endless supply of stamina, even while sprinting. Interestingly, the Iguanodon's thumb spikes also provide it with the capability to pick seeds out of fruits, 
allowing a farmer to easily convert stacks of fruits into stacks of seed for planting. Combined with its highly effective fruit harvesting and substantial carry weight, the Iguanodon's excellent mobility in bipedal stance makes it an ideal field hand that can also pull off a quick getaway or an agile defense when needed. Okay, so I'm a little concerned about trying to tame a raptor with a T-Rex just right over there. Uh, plus, I don't know what level this raptor is. Okay, here comes the T-Rex. We're going to have to deal with him first. Or her, as the case may be. Ah, shit, we got Dimorphodons on us. That's not good. Oh, screw up our armor. Okay. Let's, uh... What do we got there? Let's drink some tasty swamp water. Um, drink. Drink, please. Oh, I guess I already did. <laughs> now, um... We need Delberta to stand back up. And then that raptor is still kind of hung up on whatever it's trying to eat. I'd like to know what level it is, but let's just bolo it. Uh, actually, before we do that, let's get these in there. It's a 36. Yeah. That's a little bit low. If it was a little higher than that, I probably would have tamed it, but that's that's kind of low for us. Delberta? You gonna sleep all day? <laughs> he really got knocked out, did he? Or she. Good gravy. Yeah, see, that's the problem with these smaller critters, is they just uh, have a bit of a hard time. Give you a little bit of stimulant to get that back down. There you go. Okay. 23 points. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh shit. Now what? Another snake. Is Delberta knocked out again? <laughs> no, I think I think she's still up. Wait, is she? Yeah, she is. Okay. Um, okay, so uh, I got to think about this. What are we going to do for Crystal? I think we can get Crystal in the Redwoods, but I'm just not exactly sure where. I don't really want to spend a ton of time in the swamp. It's just not the friendliest place in the world. So let's move this direction. Oh, we need to drop some stuff. Oh yeah, we gotta do the points on this guy. Good lord. Okay. Well, let's get his health up. Might as well get him all the way up to 10,000. There we go. And then everything else probably that we get uh, for, for him will probably just go straight up into melee. Because the stamina seems to be pretty good. I'm going to bite as we go through here, just in case there's leeches. Can't see a damn thing. Alright, so that gets us to here. Our guy's coming. Yeah, I, I haven't forgotten that we've left Peg behind, but... Uh, I had to get down to the water, and then we, you know, got into bit of a scuffle. Um, let's give you melee damage. I gotta level up too. Okay, let's see. We're gonna... 
Yeah, we want to get that to 30. Oh, shit, I got 12 levels up. Really? Did, what the hell, man? Did, did we kill... What did we kill to get so many levels? Jeez, okay. Um, Melee damage is at 200. Fortitude's at 30. Yeah, let's just start pumping our health in. Can't believe we got so many damn levels. Um, I think... I don't... I think I put the XP multiplier at one and a half, but... Or maybe it was three, I don't remember. We seem to be leveling pretty damn fast. Maybe a little too fast, but... Oh well. Oh wow, the Redwoods have a lot more ground foliage than they used to. That's interesting. You know, of course, the the biggest concern for that is... Um, and we got terror birds over there. The biggest concern for that is the Thylacaleos. They could uh, give us some trouble. Um... that terror bird go? I'm gonna hate you, hate you guys. Oh, you suck. Oh, starving. Let's get some get some meat going here. Let's kill this carno. Crazy OP our Baryonyx already is. I mean, this guy was like such a low level when we tamed him. He's already just killing everything in sight. Yeah, I don't know what to think about these single player settings. They just seem... I mean, I guess if... um, I guess if you were a new player... You know, it would make sense, but for someone like me who's, you know, pretty much a veteran player of this game, I got over 3,000 hours in it. it. Just seems a little bit over the top OP here. But the thing is, is if I turn off the single player settings, uh, you know, I, I don't know. It's something that I'll consider. We'll put it that way. You little son of a bitch, you stole my meat. Where'd you go? Did you get it back for me, or do I gotta pick it up off the ground? Give me that back. Okay, well, um, what, I will try and go back for Peg off camera. I'm not going to go about, oh shit, Microraptor, not good. Hate those things. Um, yeah, I'll try and go back and find Peg off camera. I'm not going to go back there right now just because... Um, we still, you know, our main goal here is to find some crystal. Let me look at something here. Oh, we got another level already. Goodness gracious. Um, uh, let's go to tribe manager. No, no. Got another stupid micro raptor. Can get a good... There's two of them. We can get a good bite on them. But the animals will get them if they pull me off, so. Let's eat some meat. We're gonna have to have to, have to actually cook up some more meat here pretty soon. Okay, well, um,
Just trying to think what to do in regards to finding crystal. Let's let's kind kind of start heading into the redwoods here. We gotta really keep our eyes peeled for Thylos though on the trees. Um, and see if we can find some um, some crystal up higher. Um, the redwoods have a mountain kind of on the, I, I think it's on the eastern end of them. And there's crystal up there, I know for sure. I'm just not exactly sure how close we are to it, though. Okay, this is um this is close to the swamp cave actually if I recall correctly. This little lagoon here. There's raptors over there. There's four of them though. Yeah, see that's going to be a tough uh scenario trying to tame one when there's four around. And again, I have no way to know. Look at how look at the size of that fish down there. It's crazy. It's huge. Uh, I have no way to know, um, you know, what level they are. Jeez, there's raptors all over the place. Good lord. There's a pack over there and a pack over there. Hmm. Okay. You know what? We got piranhas in here, so I'm have to, I'm not really too worried about the berry, but the other guys could get hurt. Leave him alone. Damn piranhas. Okay, let's go around this way. I'm not too concerned about whether or not we can kill those raptors, but trying to, to tame one uh, is a little more complex when there's that many of them around, you know? Fuck off, bugs. Jeez, this are such a pain in the ass. There's so many raptors over there. It's crazy. Okay, well, I think what we're going to do is try and make our way towards the mountain here in the Redwoods uh, where I know there's crystal. Um, we can't go inside the swamp cave because that's a death sentence. Okay. That was just a low level raptor. Trash raptor. Man, everything wants to eat us. Except for we're eating them. Okay, let's just keep pumping your melee. Okay, that raptor, eh, he's got a couple raptors with him. I mean, I guess the other thing we could do is try and bola two of them and then pick the one that's the the best. Can I make the raptor saddle in my own inventory, or do I have to do that in a smithy? I think I can make it in my own inventory. Let's just go ahead and learn it. All right, well, they, they're going after those guys.
Okay, ho hold on, hold on. Everybody be chill for a second. All right, what level are you? You're 48. What are you? You're, I can't tell. 12. Okay. Let's knock you out. Seriously, you're not out yet? Yeah, we'll let those guys... Uh, okay. Everybody stay passive. Take a couple hits for the team. This one should be knocked out pretty quick. Okay, good. Now, we gotta kill this one. So it doesn't mess up our team. Or, yeah, let it run away. I don't give a shit. Uh, is he gonna come back though? I don't know. Here, let's just let's just quickly grab some prime here. We're gonna need to get some regular meat in there too, because that prime's not gonna last real long. Okay. Now. Is that other raptor coming back for revenge, or did it chicken out? There we go. That was easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, what level are you now? You're... Wait, what? Level 17. Did I grab the wrong one? <laughs> the raptor I looked at said level 48. Oh, damn it, Jim. All right, what's your, ra what's your melee? <laughs> Still over five. Thundered. <laughs> That's nuts. That is crazy. Okay, um, what's your health? It's probably really super low, yeah. Alright, well, I'll tell you what we'll do. Um, can we make what do we need for a raptor saddle? That stuff there. Okay, let's track this. And um do you have any uh yeah, you got fiber on you. Uh you got hide. And we just need to get a little bit of wood. Okay. So we'll we'll keep him, uh, her. We'll keep her with us and see how she does. I mean, she's, I don't know what the hell happened to that forty-eight. I guess I just got confused about who was who in the zoo, right? So. We'll see how she does. She's got super high melee, you know, which of course we kind of expected, but her health is super low, so. Um, all right, so, in fact, you know what? I probably should ride her. Um, a little, little bit on the heavy side. In fact, here, let's put a couple things, excuse me, uh, into you. Uh, fortunately, it's raining, so we don't have to worry about hydration at the moment. Everybody follow me. Everybody be neutral. Oh, it looks like we have a couple levels on... You just get health. And you're good to go. You are definitely going to be getting health for the, the, for the time being. Alright, I'm just going to get rid of that. Okay, so let's con keep working our way up the mountain. Frickin' Microraptors, man. Where did it go? I'm trying to... I don't know where I went. Okay, let's just go. Okay. That was a level... S oh, no, that was a s mic micro raptor. I don't know what level the raptor raptors were. Okay, we got a, a hill here. Let's see if there's anything potentially at the top. This isn't really what I'm looking for, but there could be crystal up here. Alright, 
Um, everybody get the hell out of the way. All right, guys, I'm back. Had to go AFK for a little bit in real life. And um, let us continue. Little baby Fiomia. How cute. How, what level is this Bronto? 68? Yeah. Let's not mess with it since there's other Brontos nearby as well. But, uh, yeah, I didn't see any, any crystal on top of this hill. This isn't really what I'm looking for, though, anyway. Uh, we need to keep going uh, inland and kind of more uh, to the east as well. Man, the, the big boomy thumps those guys are making is cool. That's new. I don't remember that in the, the old game. Little baby packy rhino. I've never actually tamed one of those. I don't know. Are they, are they good for anything in particular? Another Trudon. Man, those guys are all over the place. Man, you, you're pretty terrible on weight, dude. Um, let's give you... Yeah, let's keep pumping health on you. We'll keep... Uh, we'll keep one thing of meat on you. Don't think those Trudons will bother us if we don't bother them. Uh, if it's nighttime, they would, because they get really aggressive at night. Oh, there's an alpha. Alright, if we're going to take on an alpha, I want to be on you. Because we're going to need, we're gonna need your firepower and you'll run off otherwise. Where's a... Uh, Oh shit, what happened to our our Dilo? Oh, it's on. 20 God, 2400 damage? Are you shitting me? Wow. That's just insane. Okay. <laughs> Dude, you are a monster. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, who got the kill? Did you get the kill? Well, yeah, you got the kill. Good. So you got 3 points. Um, Let's, uh, wait, did Barry? Yeah, he must have, because he's got all this uh, stuff in his inventory. Um, is there a, a dropped raptor uh, tooth claw thingy? And did we get anything? Like, you know, any loot or anything? Hmm. Because usually if the dino that gets the kill on, a, like, an alpha doesn't have room, it just drops a bag on the ground. But I don't see a bag on the ground. Oh. Wait a minute. What? I got the stuff. How did... Oh, look at this, you guys. Nice. How did I get this, though? It usually goes in the dino. Did they change that? They must have changed that. Oh, cool. Okay, so we got a really nice pick upgrade and some pretty decent crossbow upgrades, too. Fantastic. Okay. Um, the ramshack was actually better than the apprentice. So let's take that and we'll put some trank arrows in it. Okay. Yeah, so apparently that goes into the player's inventory now. How interesting. I like that idea, actually, uh, quite a bit, as a matter of fact. Okay, cool. And you know what else we could do? Here, let's put that up there. We'll put this down here. We'll put this other crossbow down here with normal arrows in it. Beautiful. I like it. Very cool. Yeah, that's a really good change, you know, for that stuff to just come into your own inventory. You just quite don't have the weight to carry me around, do you, buddy? That. Stupid terror bird. Okay. I think we're ready to go. Let's do it. Watch out for Thylacalios.
Oh, bear. <laughs> Bam. Um, I think we've, I think we've lost our Dillo. So we've lost our peg, our pego, and our Dillo. That kind of sucks. Um, yeah, let's just keep pumping your health. Should probably put a couple points into weight on you too. But health is more important at the moment. Hmm. I wonder what happened to the. What happened to our Dillo? Let's go back and see if we can find him. Um, at some point, though, I mean, now that we got these other critters, if we do make it back to the base with the little guys, I think we're pretty much finished with them. They've served their purpose. And they served admirably. But um, I don't want to spend too much time trying to figure out where the hell they went. Yeah, we, we should put a... We need to put a couple of points of weight into this thing. Otherwise... Oh, there you are. Delberti, you got to keep up. You got stuck in the in the big thing, Madoodle there. Okay, let's go. What is this? Oh, it's a baby the Diplo. Where'd that bastard go? He stole my meat. I can't even see the bag. Did you kill him? Did you get my meat back, dude? No. Okay, let's go this way. I have a feeling like we're going to get jacked by a Thylo when we least expect it. Because they could even... They could be on the other side of these trees. Let's see if we can get out of this kind of rougher terrain here. It's just, uh, it's just really hard to tell exactly where I'm at because I have no compass. I can't see, you know, off in the distance because of the forest. Oh, uh, this looks like it might be going up to a mountain. Okay, here's another raptor over here. Level 32. Yeah, it's just... It's just too hard to try and tame them when there's more than one. Shut up, Pego. Okay. So this looks like it could possibly be going up to the mountain that I was talking about. This way. Again, like I said, it's it's a lot more difficult to move through here on foot because the foliage is a lot more is you know, it's a lot higher than it used to be. It used to be a little more open and you could kind of see where the hell you were going. Kill that terror bird. Oh, that's cool music. I like that. All right, I'm going to actually put a point into weight for you. Where's uh where's our moss chops? Ah oh, shit, I don't wanna lose the moss chops. Yeah, I think we we were kinda up in this rough terrain and I said let's get out of this rough terrain. There she is. Okay. Whew. Okay, it kinda feels like the mountain goes up this way. 
What the hell is making that noise? Goodness. Oh, it's a dimorph. I just want to find a... Oh, look at the cute little baby stego. I just want to find a reasonably clear path up there is the thing. Oh, yeah. We saw you earlier. We saved you from uh, something that was attacking you. I don't remember what it was. Raptor. I didn't even see that one coming. It was just on me. Cool. Okay, so we are... I used to know what the name of this mountain was called. It was like Far's Peak or something like that, maybe. But don't quote me on that. But uh, there's also metal up here, too. So... If we can... Uh, We can bring back some metal too, that would be good, but crystal's the main thing. Okay, so let's follow this path and I think it just kind of will lead around and go up to the summit there. Man, what's up with all the saber tooths? You know what? They changed. Oh, kill that thing. Uh, they changed this. So this is, uh, what is this? Is this the metal now? Yeah. So the metal looks like this now instead of those kind of gold look. Oh, shit. There's a tree done. Those gold looking boulders. So that's cool. Uh, let's give you one more point in weight. Um, but here again, uh, I, I want to make sure we get crystal before we get metal. Well, let's even actually put as much as we did get in your inventory. There's like wild flowers and stuff up here. Definitely want to kill those micro raptors. I wonder if crystal has changed too in the way that it looks. Okay, this path leads up to the main summit. Uh, so the pathway and the general shape of the mountain is still the same as it was before. It's just. You know, uh, like I've said before, it's just the features are quite a bit different. There's Crystal. And what's uh, what's the problem? Oh, we got another raptor. Okay, so the Crystal more or less looks the same as it used to. So that's good to know. Okay, are we safe to hop off here for a second? Oh, wow. That's, uh, interesting. <laughs> Sounds like breaking glass. Okay, we got 92. That'll be enough for the spyglass and some jars. In fact, can we make the, the spyglass right now? Let's take a look. Um, did I learn the spyglass? Super spyglass. Yes, I did. Uh, it needs cementing paste and metal ingots. Okay, we're going to have to wait till we get home then before we can make it. Now here comes another raptor. Let's put everybody on passive and just see what level it is. 
It's uh, 28. Okay, no, kill it. All right, well, since we're here, let's go ahead and go all the way up to the summit, because why not? And there's uh, another little patch of crystal, too. It's crazy, man. Very cool, though. Uh, you stuck? I got a rare mushroom, too. Nice. Get that out of the way. Okay. We got some metal up here. Oh, that's just all waiting to disappear. Okay, well, how is your weight at the moment? Okay, you're you're pretty good. Let's drop all of these berries. We'll drop the wood and the thatch. Um, not quite ready to get rid of that yet because it's our only backup pick at the moment. I'm gonna I'm not gonna take flint or stone with us because we can get that anywhere, right? Okay, let's get some metal for you. Maybe just a tiny bit more and then I don't wanna completely load her down because then I won't be able to get on her and ride her if I need to. Okay, yeah, that's probably about as much as I want to put on her. Okay, cool. All right, guys. Well, um, look at that view, man. That is fantastic. The, uh, can I get up here? No, I don't have a climbing pick or a grappling hook yet. Uh, I'll need to make those in the smithy. Uh, but we are definitely out of time in this episode. And so what I'm going to do is work my way back home. I'll keep the camera running in case something noteworthy happens. But otherwise, um, I'm trying to think what we'll do for the next episode. I mean, we, you know, our, our biggest priority right now is just, you know, taming creatures. There's some obsidian down there. And we should probably try and grab a little bit of that, too. Um, yeah, so like I said, our, our biggest priority right now is taming you know, creatures. And so that's going to be what we're mostly going to be working on as we, you know, continue in this series. There's some more crystal down there, but I can't, I don't think I'll be able to get back up here if I go down there, but we have enough for the time being anyways. Uh, so with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And yes, I will go try and find the Pego, but I'm not going to spend hours and hours looking for him. <laughs> All right, guys. See you later. Bye-bye. Thank you.